Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button, please do subscribe. Wednesday evening guys and it is hot. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 7.57pm. It was 25 degrees in this flat, it's gone to 24 and a half. I think it reached 30, uh, 26 degrees outside this afternoon. Um, so guys, if you watch my previous videos, you know that I went down Rochester High Street uh, this, uh, this afternoon and this morning and the purpose of that was to take a library book back a puzzle called Clavelli because it would have been overdue if I'd left it, it was due back today left it to the last possible minute because I don't like taking library books back uh, took it back and I was kept waiting for about five minutes I was, it was extremely hot I was tired and I was just completely ignored in the Rochester Library there was a young lady talking to a large blonde woman. The blonde woman had £10 on the desk. Um, I had money in my purse because I was going to put money on my gas and electric card. So you had this blonde woman sat there with a £10 note on the desk and I was being treated like I was invisible. I waited for five minutes, I got fed up the books were heavy, I was holding them, I sat down on the chair and I was just about to get, just plonk the books down and leave when a young lady came out the back and she took my books off me. It doesn't hurt to say, sorry for waiting, um, I'll be with you in a minute, but no one said a word and I just kept my call. Cool. I had money in my purse and it was really hot and I was getting fed up. I walked out of the library, I told you I couldn't get money on my electric card, I've had to do that online which I didn't want to do. I didn't want to go into my bank account money but now I've had to use my bank account to pay for the electric. Because she tried that card about 10 times, fair play to the woman, she tried to get my card electric on 10 times it wouldn't go through and I, I, in the heat I wasn't going to walk to Chatham or walk somewhere else to try and get electric on my card so I've done it online because my electric is a smart meter with the gas you can't do that online I have put £25 on my gas so I'm all topped up and it should last for, for a bit so I haven't got electric and gas to worry about. I haven't seen my mother for nearly two weeks now. I haven't had a takeaway. I haven't been up to my mum's. Um, I haven't seen my mum for two weeks. She hasn't, I haven't got anything off my mother. I've paid for everything myself out of my own money. And I'm gonna learn now to cope by myself. And I, I don't mind doing that. And, and I don't want poisonous takeaways in my body. Great big pizzas and grease. Um, so I came back um, from Rochester High Street and I started to get a headache, a migraine. Brought on probably by the cannabis that I'd inhaled this morning mixed with cannabis that I smelt down Rochester High Street, mixed with strong incense in the Oxfam shop. So I got a migraine, got into my flat, I made myself a cup of coffee and then I felt a migraine coming on. So I drank lots and lots of water. I didn't feel hungry, although I bought myself a sandwich, a tuna and sweet corn sandwich. I wasn't hungry and I had things to eat. I've got the stuff in the cupboard, stuff in the fridge. Um, you don't want to stuff yourself in this hot weather, it's going to make you sick. It's best to eat cool and small amounts in the heat. And 
that's what I've been doing. It's been too hot for September. So I drank loads of water. I have to carry on. Max needed to go for a walk. Had coffee and like my usual self, I get myself out of a headache. I live by myself and I went out with Max at two o'clock this afternoon and it was phenomenal, the heat. It was terrible and I didn't take Max on the field. I just walked around the block and I came back. I didn't go out to the co-op. I mean, if I want to go out to the co-op to get bread or something, I've got a bit, I've got cash where I can go and get bread or I can get a hot dog and a coffee. That's no problem. I'm not hungry. So people seem to think that I'm short of money and I'm starving. I'm not. My mum used to help me out, but I need to, to be left alone to get on with my life. I'm not two years old. Having too much of something can be bad for you as well. It's about time I was left alone. So I came back in uh, this afternoon and I still had a headache, a really bad headache on the left hand side of my head. More, more water, cup of coffee and some, some light, s s sweet snacks and I started to feel better. I put videos on YouTube, I played poker on my phone, I was occupying myself. My mum rang, let's hear my mother's messages shall we? My mother rang. You mustn't get confused because I've got sons and I've got a daughter. But my mum's only got me. I'm her only daughter that's left. My mother hasn't got any sons. New message received today at 3.56 p.m. Good afternoon, Janessa. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking to you. Janessa from my land, my friend. Hoping you're having a good day. I'm giving you the usual afternoon day town call, call, letting you know that I'm thinking of you and hoping you're well. Bye for now, Janessa. I'll give you another ring later this afternoon. Just to wish you good night and God bless. Bye for now. Message deleted. Next new message. Received today at 7.58 p.m. Good evening, Janessa, giving you your last time. The last time I had a telephone call from me, Jennifer, your mum, from my landline phone to you, Janessa. Good night. God bless. To return the call at your normal call. That was a quick phone call from my mum. Right, what I want to reiterate is that I have sons and a daughter. My mum just has me left. I'm her daughter, right? So I wasn't coughing over the phone to my son this morning. It wasn't me coughing over the phone to my son. It was my mum coughing to me, her daughter, this morning. And it was me that went down Rochester High Street. It wasn't my son. My son doesn't live in Rochester. He lives in London. Okay. And I'm going to keep saying it, I'm a single woman and I live on my own and I struggle at times. Life can be difficult, especially when you get sick and you don't feel well and you haven't got anybody in a support network to look after you. I'm not a bloke and I'm not young either. And it does get isolating and it does get quite nasty at times when you're trying to struggle by yourself however I want to be on my own I don't want to get involved in drugs or drink or, or get into bad behaviour I'm too old for that I don't want that type of, of trouble so about 10 
10 to 7, I take Max out for a walk and I'm hot and I'm tired. I've sat in the shower for about an hour trying to cool off. I feel so hot. It's stifling in these flats. There doesn't feel like there's any air in the building. So I'm sat under the shower for like an hour dry, trying to cool off. So I've had a shower, but I still don't feel cool because you start sweating afterwards, don't you? So I went out with Max with a bag of rubbish. So a bag of rubbish under my arm, a dog under the other. Get down the stairs, put the rubbish in the bin, go outside and go onto the field. And it's packed with people. And yes, I got bitten again. Bitten. I got bitten underneath my chin by a midge and a bitten on my elbow because they haven't cut that grass for over a year and God knows what's living in it and if a child runs across that field it's going to get bitten to pieces there's no care in this world anymore it's dangerous no one's doing their job properly the service is disgustingly bad and poor everywhere no customer service anywhere. Staff are rude and ignorant and don't even acknowledge you're there. And it's not just happening to me either, it's happening to other people. I was watching uh, a guy um, that said he went to Buckingham Palace. People were just after your money and when, when they've got the money, money they, don't, they just treat you like dog shit. Apparently the tour of Buckingham Palace, that, that it was like uh, they were in an army camp being ordered about. Stuff like sardines being ordered about by staff. What is going on in this country? I mean, I don't mind being ignored and invisible, but can you imagine an old lady waiting behind in the library just being ignored? And, f and probably collapsing in the heat because staff can't be bothered to have any polite manners. They can see you waiting and they just, they don't give a fuck. This country right now is appalling. It's disgusting. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. The sea is unsafe. Buildings are unsafe. The brickwork in that cathedral was falling apart. Everywhere is unsafe. It's all under scaffolding. It's falling down. We've got global warming. We've got the rising prices. <laughs> I mean, why do you think I stay at home? Why do you think I stay at home and I hardly go out? Because I feel safer in my home than I do outside, that's why. You've got cars driving on the fucking pavement. You've got drug lorries driving on the field. You've got people stealing out of shops and no police. I feel safer in my own home. It's got to a dreadful level of, of being dangerous. And now, I wouldn't be surprised if, if some sickness or illness develops this winter through people mixing with each other. I wouldn't be surprised if we get bad cases of flu or something through all the mixing that's been going on, getting too close to people. I'm going to get on with the rest of my evening. But it's only going to get worse. Everything's going to get worse. It's not going to get better until people acknowledge what is going on in this world. And it's like the devil, Satan, has taken over. All the badness is coming out. There's no good. People are 
fuck customer service. There's no customer service. People, I mean, I went into the cathedral and the woman behind the desk looked at me as if I was a pile of rubbish. A pile of shit. Like she was better than I was. She looked at me like she had a smell under her nose. The woman that served me in the cathedral. And my good money is as good as anybody else's. This country, I, you know, I, I can't understand why people actually want to come over and live in this country. I, 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 they don't realise how bad it is. And we used to have a good NHS health service, but that's gone down the pan, hasn't it? There's no NHS dentists, you can't get a dentist. People are pulling their own teeth out and treating their own teeth. People come over to this country thinking it's going to be wonderful and fantastic, and don't they have a big shock? <laughs> I am going to make myself a cup of hot chocolate, but I feel safer in my home. I have tried working in jobs. I've been sexually assaulted, sexually abused in workplaces, with staff watching the blokes abusing me. I've reported incidents to the police. The police haven't given a fuck. It's all in my fucking head. Um, I, and no, I'm not a dog. I don't do as I'm told. A, do I, a dog does as it's told. Get your facts straight. No one tells me what to do. See you later.